Hey, Ink fans, this is Brian Goulet of the Goulet Pen Company and Inkmo.com. Today I want to do a quick review for you of Namiki Blue. This is a color that not a lot of people are familiar with. Uh, Namiki only has two inks, at least here in the U.S. They have black and blue. I'm a fan of the blue and I want to give you a tour and show you what it's all about. Alright, here we are checking out Namiki's Blue. That's all it's called, Namiki Blue. It's a 60 milliliter bottle. And uh, it's kind of a cool design on the bottle. Very uh, artsy, kind of interesting. Um, one cool thing about it, I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but there is a little um, cup inside, a little reservoir. Sort of like the Sailor inks. It's a little plastic cup on the inside where it helps you to get the ink into your pen, um, even when the bottle gets low. The, um, the ink itself is a dark blue ink. Here I have the review that I'm going to be posting um, a more color accurate picture of it on uh, inknouveau.com. For this test, I decided to use a pen that's going to piss all of you off because it's not one that you can easily get yourselves. This is a pen that Brian Gray of the Edison Pen Company made especially for Rachel and myself. Um, I don't know what kind of material this is, but it's like a deep wine crimson color with this chatoyance in it that is really, really deep, like crazy deep, and it's it's really awesome. Um, he made it uh, the style of our Edison Nouveau Premier, the joint pen that we have together, um, and he did an especial italic grind on it for me. So awesome. Thanks to Brian for doing that for us. But anyway, it's a pen that I like, and, and I'm not going to withhold from using it in a review just because um, it's a special pen. It's it's one that I like using, and uh, I'm going to use it by golly. So anyway, that's the pen that I use for this review. It's about a one millimeter italic. I'm not sure. It might be more like a 0.9, but it should give you a little bit of an idea. Now, I will say that when you're using an italic, um, it's going to give you a different um, look to the ink than a conventional pen will, just because um, that that italic nib is kind of ground flat, so it's kind of spreading the ink out a little bit as it does it. So it's going to appear a little bit lighter than the ink normally would. Um, so take that into account when you're looking at this review. Um, even still, it's a nice dark blue ink color. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and show you what's going on. Um, the Mickey Blue, it's a 60 mil bottle, I just showed you that. The pen, Rhodia Dot Pad, 80 gram paper, that's kind of my standard. Um, I did the smear test, and that's, that's to represent how fast it dries. It dries pretty quickly, um, even in this italic. Um, it's, uh, this pen is not a really wet writing pen, but it's on the wet side. Um, dried probably about 20 to 25 seconds, um, which is pretty, pretty normal, I find, for most fountain pen inks on, on Rhodia paper. Now, it does take longer to dry on this paper than it would on more absorbent like inkjet paper and the stuff you might find at work. The drip test. You probably can't even tell that I did a drip test on here, but I did. Um, I did three drops on here and left it on there for about a minute and then soaked it up, and you can hardly tell that anything happened. So that is the, the shining glory of this ink, is that it is incredibly water resistant. It's not even advertised as such, but I found that it's really, really good water resistance. The swabs, what I did with the swabs here was to show you um, the level of saturation that the ink has. So if you have a um, drier writing pen, you might expect something like the one. If you have a really wet writing pen, something like the three. I personally like the three a lot better. When you get it's going to be hard to see on the video, but when you get to this really heavy saturated part of the ink, it has this red sheen to it, this red kind of overtone to the ink that there's only a couple other inks out there that have that red overtone, um, and this is one of them. The The italic was probably not the best choice of pen for me to show that off, but I did want to make that something aware, um, aware to you that, that that's something that happens. Okay, bottle size 60 mil. The dry time is medium to long. I wouldn't say it's a fast dry time. I wouldn't say it's long. It's somewhere in the middle. Um, the saturation of the ink is probably a medium, maybe medium heavy. The water resistance very, very high. Ease of cleaning, medium to hard. You know, that red sheen that it has tends to want to get on the feet of the pen. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, you probably can't see it well on the video here. Now you can't see it. Oh, oh there we go. 
You can see it a little bit there. See, it kind of leaves a little bit of that red sheen on the feed. And uh, what I've found is I need a little, a little mild detergent. And if you really want to get aggressive, you can use like a 10% bleach to water ratio. Of course, do that with your own level of comfort in the pen that you're using. But um, that red sheen is a little hard to get off. So be aware of that. It's a little harder to clean. Um, but I found that, honestly, with a lot of the water-resistant inks, a lot of them are more of a pain in the butt to clean out of your pen. So this might not be the kind of thing you want to switch and swap out of your pen all the time. Maybe have a, more, a pen more dedicated to it. Um, the shading, light to medium, it's not incredibly... Um, great degree of shading that's the that's the variance between the light and the dark within the line while you're writing but it's there it's definitely noticeable um, and the flow is medium to wet that has more to do with the pen than the ink but I found the ink to, to be pretty well suited for this pen so hopefully this is something helpful to you again the, the, the best thing about this ink is that it's got that water resistance and it's got it's a nice it's a nice dark blue um, you know it's not like a periwinkle it doesn't really have a lot of purplish to it it's a fairly fairly pure blue ink that uh, if you're using in that wet writing pen you get that red sheen and it really looks kind of cool now the um, the swabs that I have here to compare I had the Mickey blue of course in a swab it's going to look lighter than it does in a pen but the comparable inks that i have to it i have diamine majestic blue is fairly comparable um private reserve electric dc blue a little bit darker but still all of these have that red sheen to it and then just for ha ha's i had parker penman sapphire in here which of course nothing matches parker penman sapphire it's almost a legendary status since it's been discontinued and it is don't even bother emailing me and asking if i have any because i don't um but uh it's got that red sheen too so i thought i'd put kind of all the red sheeny inks here together to show you off so hopefully that's something helpful to you and, uh, you know, I, I would recommend the Mickey Blue if you're looking for something a water-resistant dark blue. So that's it for my review of Namiki Blue. Hopefully it was helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can always email me at brian at Thanks a lot, and right on.